him. So, how you doing? I'm doing okay today. Let's get started. It's time for Hot Topic. Okay, all right. You know the hot felon? Okay, his name is Jeremy Meeks, and you know, he cheated on his wife. Well, we talked about this. Uh, yep, and they've got one child together, but uh, two others from previous relationships. This is the one, and you can tell because he looks just like Jeremy. All right, well, now here we go. He's leaving her. How dare you? I held you down? I put money on your uh, books? Shout out to all the felons. <laughs> so there they are together. Jeremy beat her to the punch because she wanted to file for divorce as well, but he filed first. Now, I don't, like, I filed before. I don't recall who went, like, all right, he filed against me. <laughs> but I ended up winning. Um, okay, so um, he filed first in hopes that he'll be able to hang on to his modeling money. Cause you know, once he was released from prison, see, while he was in prison, he's watching TV and seeing that all of us are swooning over. <laughs> One time. So he sees that you all are swooning over him. So now he comes out of uh, prison and then he, oh, by the way, he was in prison for something or another, but he has the teardrop. Now, you know, in the hood, a teardrop means that you killed somebody. Now, I, I don't know who he's killed or why he's, you all do, Suzanne? Yeah. What, I, I, I know that about the teardrop, just so you know. Right. I learned that here. So if you see, yeah. oh, you learned it here. Yeah, no, yeah. And if oh, I God. See, oh, God. Yeah. Sorry, Suzanne. Sorry, Suzanne. But, but if <laughs> I see that on someone, I'm scared. Right. Yeah. That's a body. Yeah. So if you see three teardrops. Oh, oh you run. <laughs> that's run. a massacre. Okay. So here's, here's my deal. I think that she's entitled to half of his earnings for the rest of his life. And I'm going to tell you why. I'll, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because, you know, it's enough to be a long-suffering wife. But especially if you're a long-suffering wife of somebody who happens to be in jail, whether they did it or they didn't do it, because there are a lot of people who, everybody in jail claims they're innocent. How y'all doing? <laughs> um, but she's the long-suffering wife. They've been together for, they were married for 13 years, I believe. Norman? Eight years. Eight? Uh-huh, Same eight. difference. Yeah. <laughs> After, after seven, it's all the same. All right. Okay. So married for eight years. They've got one child together. Remember, two, you know, separately. I think that Mrs. Meeks needs um, a half of everything that he gets. Because to me, this guy went to jail, saw us talking that he was hot, came out, big-timed her. See? Like, mm-hmm. I am now a St. Laurent model or whatever. You know, he, he's modeling. He, he is modeling. Now, he's no Marcus Schenkenberg, but they're not a whole bunch of... <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm the old, only uh, woman in the room who remembers Marcus Schenkenberg. <laughs> wow. Anyway, Mrs. Meeks, good luck. You get that money, and if you, ha if you need a suggestion, call me. I'm really good at hatching plans.
believe that you guys don't remember Marcus Schenkenberg. Remember the hot white guy? With all the, oh, oh, okay, you're the only one. Raspberry dress in the second row. Yes. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, in case you forgot exactly who Marcus Schenkenberg was, <laughs> take a look at this. Okay, wait, no, no, Suzanne, that, you know what? You all did not get the best picture, okay? Not at all. The Schenkenberg was the bee's knees back in the day. They're not a whole bunch of male supermodels, but Schenkenberg was one of them, but this is not a good picture. I have no idea what is, look, I'm exhausted. We're only 15 minutes into the show. Alas, we must press on.